Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fit Excel sheet on one page print. So this one is pretty simple, just need to follow the steps that I'll be showing you. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer under this video. So let's get started. Now I have a Excel file here, which is named sample data. We just want to open this one. So when we open this Excel file, as you can see, we have a lot of data. So we have three tables here that we want to include when we print. So usually when we print something on Excel, we want to go to file and we want to go to print. But whenever we do that, as you can see, the section is being cut off. So it's not showing the other tables here. So there's actually a quick way for us to fix this. So let's just go back. So we want to include all of these tables in one sheet of paper. How do we do that? The first thing you want to do is you want to go to page layout and we want to change the orientation from portrait to landscape. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do here is we want to go to the view tab. Now in here, we want to use the page break preview. So click on that. And as you can see, our pages are now divided into different pages. So we have page one, two, three, and four. What if we want to change this and we want to only include one page? So you need to adjust the current range. So for example, we want to extend page one. So you want to hold and extend that border and make sure that only page one is shown here. So once you ensure that page one is here, just click on the page break preview again and go to normal. And once you've done that, let's go to file again and we want to go to print. Now in here, as you can see, all of the tables are now in one page and we've just successfully fit the Excel sheet on one page if we're going to print. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.